so this is a quick guide on uh, so this is a quick guide on how to customize uh, zbar so i i have been using place vm with zbar for quite some time and i was looking into how to customize it so if you actually come to their uh, github page and uh, you know look into get get started you can see that the uh, widget which which is basically this ui that uh, resides in this uh, in this directory inside your user right and uh, if you go into read a read up about their uh, introduction to zbar like uh, you, you can uh, read that the main configuration uh, resides in a dot zbar dot json file and uh, it's basically an html file that renders this entire thing right so it uses uh, uh, something known as story so which is, has a web front end and a a rust based backend so they are using rust for the backend and uh, the web tools for the front end so html and css right so uh, if you actually uh, read up here they also discuss about uh, a good way to get started and customize it right so they they can say the uh, so they also say they have uh, examples and all included so if you go into your uh, the directory where it resides all the configuration right so let me go there. Uh, so I do an alt enter. So if you see, if you load your uh, directories, you can see there is something called Glazer. So dot Glazer. So you can do dot glcr and zbar. So so now I can open it in VS Code. So this is how it looks, right? So uh, you will uh, see there are uh, this starter template. Um, there are no templates actually, they are literally used. Uh, these are templates, the boilerplate React and Solid TS1, which they also say they include in their uh, in their uh, readme. So to customize it, first, uh, if you actually go into your system tray, you can see there is a, there's an icon for Ziva, right? So if you actually end up editing it, the whatever you are using so you might be using the vanilla one which is this one so this is without uh, using glaze vm so if you're only if you only want the bar top bar right so and you're not using it with glaze vm then you'll be probably be using the starter one uh, this vanilla one right so they actually add uh, templates and you can actually see it here right the react one uh, the solid ts one and uh, uh, there's the starter three ones, right? Uh, which they add by default. So if you uh, go to the React one and uh, let me close this default, so everything is gone, right? So I can now open this one. So if you uh, you can literally see the UI change, right? So what what ended up ha what ended up happening is that uh, this this layout got rendered, right? So what what Zbar has is uh, something called providers. There are providers which uh, allow you a con uh, collection of functionality, right? So you can have audio, battery, and CPU data and all that exposed to you via an NPM package, which is this, uh, which binds their uh, between uh, bridge between Tori and their front end client, right? So this NPM package is used to broadcast uh, network, right? Uh, all the details uh, to you, right? So. What ends up happening is you are uh, basically subscribing to that provider and it exposes all the information and you use basic HTML and CSS to render it. So um, right now, let me go and change uh, it to my default one. Close default. Open this one. So it ended up rendering uh, what ended up happening. That's okay. I'm using the vanilla one. I think this should be used with VSVM. So, sorry, yeah. <clears throat> so, you can see I have my own custom UI, right? So, what I ended up doing is you you could probably edit them. You ideally should edit them. But what I ended up doing is directly editing my own, um, my uh, default config uh, for, uh, for it. So, right. So, what you can do is uh, you can basically uh, let me show you what you can do to customize it. So you can actually log the provider's output, right? So all these providers that they are exposing. So you can log the provider's output. 
and uh, then you can do a refresh so you can see this is basically uh, using your native web view to render the ui so you can actually have inspect similarly how you would inspect our page and you can actually get access to the entire information that uh, uh, zbar is exposing right so and then you can pretty much customize anything you want so if i do if i uncomment media and then i do a refresh then i can expose the media information uh, via my cpu uh, sorry my pc and uh, then i could actually uh, this is the network and i'm sorry uh, media <clears throat> so you can see i'm playing something on youtube and that's been the title of uh, that and uh, basic information about is it, about it is being exposed you can also play pause and uh, do next and all that <clears throat> all right so uh, you can subscribe to these providers and their configuration is right there uh, so what i can do uh, what i can show you as well that you could uh, so let's say if i change the position of date right i can change the position of my date right, right? so now this should be at the end, uh, end here right after 2025 so i save it and if i refresh i think there is some issue there is overlay of some short okay i didn't close this one so, uh, yeah so now it's okay right so you can see the date is uh, at the end of it right so yeah that's how you can customize it you can basically what i ended up doing is uh, throwing it into G uh, gpt and basically uh, telling it to customize it because uh, the file is small enough that you can actually give it to some llm and ask it to customize it according to your taste so i like this simple ui but neon and modern and all that so i did that so that's how you can customize your own all right so i can uh, do anything it's basically html and css so up to you right so if i do one let's see you can customize anything and any way you want so this is how you should get started with it yeah. thanks uh,